Live from San Francisco, California, The Cube, covering Mark Logic World 2015. Brought to you by Mark Logic. Now, here are your hosts, Jeff Frick and Jeff Kelly. Welcome back, everybody. We're live here at Mark Logic World 2015 on theCUBE. I'm Jeff Kelly with my co-host, Jeff Frick. Jeff and I, we're, we've been here for all day. All we're winding day. down. This is our, last, our last segment of the day. We're, we're uh, saving the best for last. We got uh, Dave Castle with us. He's a developer, sorry, developer community manager at That's Mark right. Logic. Uh, Dave, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what you're doing to you know, really stoke the interest of the developer community. I mean, that's really your mandate. Um, yeah. There's quite a few here at the show. Uh, talk a little bit about kind of your efforts in, in getting the developer community on board. Sure. So I've, I've really got a couple of things that I'm responsible for uh, for the developer community. One is just outreach, right? Getting more people to know what MarkLogic has to offer and um, you know, getting developers so that they, they know who we are and what we can do for them. And once we get somebody interested, we want to make sure that it's as easy as possible for those developers to come up to speed on what MarkLogic can do and how they can work with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, talk about execution tactics. How do you go about doing that from a, either a training and education perspective or just market outreach and kind of getting their attention yeah, to so, meetups and other things? Yeah, so on the outreach side of that, uh, we like to go to meetups and conferences and uh, present to, to developers who haven't really heard about us before. Mm -hmm. um, and for a while, for a couple of years now, we've been able to go to some meetups like Big Data, NoSQL, even Semantics meetups. Um, and now with MarkLogic 8, we've got a whole, you know, we've got some new ones we can go to, Java meetups and Node meetups. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got a great story to tell them now. Yeah, talk a little bit about that. MarkLogic 8, we've heard a lot about some of the enterprise grade features. From a developer perspective, what's most exciting in, in MarkLogic 8 uh, that's kind of giving you a new a new way that you can now reach out to the developer community? Let's see, JSON and JavaScript, uh, that mm -hmm. hits it right there. So mm -hmm. uh, JavaScript is the, the most widely deployed language in the world. It's a very well known language. Everybody knows that, everybody touches it at some point. So now, um, not, you, it's not just a matter of like using it on the, uh, the client side, but with Node.js out there, people can use it in the middle tier. Mm -hmm. And now in MarkLogic 8, we can use that to extend MarkLogic's capabilities by working directly in the database with that language. Mm -hmm. Combine that with the ability to use native JSON documents, storing those in the database, you know, uh, we've got a capability that people are familiar with, comfortable with, mm -hmm. and we can take those JSON documents, use that for data modeling, from the database all the way out to the uh, to the client side. So Dave, you arguably have the hardest job in the company, I think, right? Everybody wants a developer. It's the age of the developer. Everybody's fighting for the developer's attention. Talk a little bit about that challenge and you know what you guys offer and why people should get excited about developing with MarkLogic and the opportunities that you guys are bringing to them and the, and the interesting problems that they want to solve. Because at the end of the day, it seems to me, and you can validate or, or dispute that, what they get most excited about is solving really cool problems, whether it's for good, and we had, and just now with crops, or you know, really doing good work. And talk about that from the community manager point of view. Sure, well, well you hit that, uh, you know, with MarkLogic, we're able to solve some really complex problems that uh, in many cases, our customers have tried to solve with other technologies, and they've just not been able to get there. So, as a developer myself, uh, it's really exciting to know that even with the really hard problems, you're going to be able to get there. It's, it's very satisfying, you know, so, uh, let's see. Um. So, we'll talk about, you know, I'm curious from a, a mindset perspective. I mean, you've, so you've been a developer for a long time, um, and we've kind of moved from this age of kind of development in a, in a silo where you kind of throw the, the application over the wall to this more of this DevOps mind frame. Um, and we heard a little bit about that today on theCUBE, about how you know, you've got to continually, you have to start taking more responsibility for the operations of your application. It's not just throwing it over the wall anymore. How have you seen that evolve over time? And does MarkLogic fit into that paradigm well? So, sure. Um, <clears throat> so one of the nice things about MarkLogic is that it's actually really easy to manage uh, in terms of the, the operational stuff. So, um, I have to actually, uh, I'm, I work on, a, on an open source project called Roxy. So the Roxy Deployer is one of the tools that's been, it was built in the field and adopted uh, pretty widely so that not only within the company but outside the company, a lot of our customers are using it as a deployment tool to simplify the management of applications built on MarkLogic. So that's been really satisfying for me personally. 
And what about an event like this? Great energy. Like Jeff said, we've been here all day long. It's like 8 o'clock and we're still going. Um, you know, what does this type of, of event do? And I know, I think this is like the first of a six city uh, tour. I think I saw the t-shirt like a concert. You know, what, what does this opportunity give you to do to, to have another direct touch point out with your community? It's great for that because we've got a mix of people here. We've got developers who have been working with MarkLogic for years and years, and they're still coming to, to find new, new things, new features, uh, new capabilities. And then we've got other people who are here attending their first MarkLogic event. Uh, they're just getting to know what the technology is about. Just talking to somebody earlier that uh, you know he came into this event today, you know, understanding relational, but never having worked with a document store before. And he told me about just how over the course of the, the talks he went to over today, he got the idea of, of documents and how, does, how that changes data modeling. And then you throw in semantics and the kind of flexibility you get from that. So. Yeah, that's consistent with the feedback we're getting like from Derek that we had on. He said, you know, he really loves the technical nature of this event. He loves the fact that he can talk to the actual engineers that are building the product, building the features. And, and really, uh, and then the third piece really is, is talking to peers and learning about new applications and new things that are being done that you know the individual didn't think of in the context of their own problem. Yeah. So actually yesterday I ran a hands-on session where the goal was to get people excited about working with MarkLogic and three-tier architecture, and in particular to get them some practice working with our Node API and our Java API. And um, so excuse me, part of, that, uh, part of the idea of that session is we had a bunch of MarkLogic engineers in the room. Uh, so it wasn't just a matter of sit down and, and bang on the keyboard. It was, you've got a task, but you've got the people here in the room who've built these features. You get to ask them questions and talk about direction of the technology. So it's, it ended up being a really fun event. Excellent. Yeah, and t talk a little bit more about the, the training you offer to developers and, and the educational resources so they can get up to speed quickly. Sure, so we've got a, a number of different resources because let's face it, everybody learns differently, right? There's different approaches. So I always start with uh, recommending MarkLogic University courses to people. Uh, MarkLogic University provides both instructor-led training, and that can be online or in person. Uh, and they also produce a number of on-demand courses. So these are usually 15, 20-minute sessions where uh, they, they watch a video and learn about some concept. Beyond the uh, MarkLogic University resources, we've got a lot on our developer website. Tutorials, blog posts, and of course our, our regular documentation provide a lot of details on uh, how to actually do things with MarkLogic. And a uh, last thing I'd point to is brand new in MarkLogic 8, uh, we've published a, a, an application called SampleStack. And the idea is this is a full-blown application, it's built as if it were intended for production, and it's a great educational resource because people can look at it and see, oh, you know, that's that's where I'm going to end up. This is how to structure things and how to work with it. Very good. And what if I want, as a developer, I want to get my hands on the technology? Do you offer kind of a developer license? How do you actually make that available? So anybody can go to marklogic.com, developer.marklogic.com, and download the software. Uh, a developer license will get you going. It's free to use, and uh, you're welcome to use that for any development purposes. Um, when you're ready to uh, to get going in a production system, we've got a variety of licensing models that uh, you know uh, will, will suit the needs of various customers, and that ranges from you know buying by the hour to you know by the year or uh, permanent licenses. Very good. Uh, so we're getting close on time. We're about to we're getting close to wrapping up the day. Um, it's been a good day. So yeah, talk about you know your plans going forward over the next year. If we're here talking next year with you at this table, you know what are some of the things you hope to accomplish from a developer outreach perspective over the next six twelve months? Well, I'm hoping to get to a lot more meetups, <laughs> and in particular, uh, I mentioned the the job, uh, Node meetups and Java meetups. I want to get them. Um, I want to be able to go in there and be able to talk from their perspective, you know, uh, and, and really show them look, here's some cool things we could do that are a lot harder before. Uh, so meetups, conferences, uh, more tutorials, keeping the blog post active. Uh, I'm always looking for additional con contributors to our blogs. I'm always uh, bugging my coworkers to, uh, you know, what, what do you have that you want to talk about? Right. In addition to that, uh, I'm always encouraging people to get their, uh, their, their projects that they're building in the field. Let's get those up on GitHub and share that because as a community, we can really build some amazing tools. Yeah. Well, you know, I, you know, as we wrap up the day, Jeff, I mean, there's clearly a community building here uh, around MarkLogic. We heard some great stories today about the 
um, you know, the flexibility that MarkLogic provides. Of course, the enterprise-grade features, which are critical uh, for, especially for the for the companies that MarkLogic's going after. Right, right. Um, That's so, come up a number of times. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the, you know, my takeaway from today is that clearly there's a shift happening in the way uh, in the database world um, to these new approaches that don't necessarily lock you into this strict model. We heard one guest mention earlier today uh, that that kind of. The, the relational model is kind of a straitjacket for your data, and Mark Logic's trying to kind of take take that straitjacket off. And I thought that's a very well put. So uh, it's been a great day here, Jeff. Any kind of last thoughts from you? Well, the other thing I think is is kind of this application platform, you know, yeah. conversation that we we'll always get into, and usually it starts as an application, then it, hopefully you've got the foundation for a platform, and then other people can now start building new applications. And I, I thought that was interesting. We had some really old publishing companies who needed a content management system and, and maybe came upon MarkLogic years ago, but now they're, they're seeing opportunities to build new applications to re-leverage that content that they've got in their repositories and really start to build new businesses and even eat their own business as traditionally publishing uh, you know, potentially is going down, but now it's digital media, lots of different channels of distribution, lots of different applications, lots of ways to repurpose, re-slice, re-dice to get that information out. The other thing that impresses me is just the passion of the customers. I think we've had, I don't know what the ratio is, we'll have to do the count, but I think far more customers than MarkLogic employees. Um, that to me is really a sign when we go to shows that there's a passionate community, it's not hard for the for the customer reference team to get people to come on camera and talk about their experience. Yeah. Some shows we have very few customers, so like ServiceNow next week and Splunk gets a lot of customers, you know, it's great to get customers on to talk about what they're doing. And I know our audience loves to hear from their peer group about what they're doing and to hear those successes. So to me, that's always a great takeaway when we get a huge lineup of customers. Yeah, yep. I think you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So um, I mean, clearly, Mark Logic is, is is moving towards that platform play, which is really where you know, from a business model perspective, is where you start to ramp up the revenue when you can provide uh, a multi-purpose platform versus kind of a single-use database. Right. Um, you know, it's been a long time in coming. You guys, Mark Logic is not not necessarily a, a new. You're not part of this new brand of open source NoSQL databases, but you've really um, been around for a lot longer. Have that enterprise grade capabilities built in from from the get-go. Uh, but it's been interesting to talk to the longtime customers and talk about the evolution of MarkLogic and then their evolution, uh, their use of the platform over time. And it's clearly expanding and expanding. And one thing we keep hearing again is, is reusing data. And reusing right, data and right. finding new ways to repurpose that data to drive value for your customers and for yourself. So, uh, a lot of great stories today. Um, so Dave, where's the tour go next? You got uh, the cities. Amsterdam. Uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. All right. Why are we on that show? I don't no. know. Next year we're yeah. going to be at the Amsterdam <laughs> show. <laughs> well, with that, I think we're going to wrap up for the day. Uh, it's been a great day. We've been going straight since 10:30 this yeah, morning. Shout out to the crew. Yeah, the crew did Greg, a great. Patrick, Patrick Leonard over there switching and uh, keeping us on, keeping us on task, keeping us on point. Great job, guys. Been yep. a long day. Yep. Yep. So, Dave Castle, thanks for joining us here and helping us wrap up the day at Mark Logic World 2015. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thanks everybody out there for watching. Uh, this is a wrap from San Francisco. Uh, Jeff, where will we be next on the queue? We will be at ServiceNow Knowledge 15 on Tuesday next week. So right. uh, another really passionate customer base that is uh, is using that what was an application that was built to be a platform that now is they're they're doing some more uh, applications. With it. So good. it'll be a good show. Well, thanks for that, and uh, thank you everybody for watching. We appreciate it. appreciate it. Catch us next week. Uh, and until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.